Yo, what's up, VRC Cribs? Welcome to the crib. We out in my lakeside mansion in, uh... Took me about $20 million to build the whole thing. Built it from the ground up. All right, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna keep you here much longer. Let's go inside. So here we got the living room. I mean, we got like, what is that? Like a 10 foot wide flat screen TV over there. Got a couple plants scattered here and there. I'm not the biggest plant guy, I'm not gonna lie to you. And you could tell because they're the fake ones, so I don't even have to water them. I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't really use this living room much. Like, not even when we have guests over or anything. But like, real star of this part of the house is this pool table right here. Especially in like, the summer months when we got like, guests over for pool parties. I like to leave that door open right there. And then, you know, we got people from the pool party funnel in to use the pool table. Real fun. Alright, come on, let's go down this hallway right here. All right, this is where the magic happens. This is where I record my videos and record the voiceovers for them. I mean, microphone's not really on the desk right now. I got that put away in a box somewhere, but check out these monitors, dude. Count them, one, two, three. Not really sure why I got that third one. It's kind of big and bulky and I don't really use it for a whole lot, but like it, it kind of ties the whole thing together, don't you think? Over here, we got the movie theater room. I mean, this is like one of my favorite places in the entire house. I mean, like how, how could you go wrong with a movie theater room? I like these stars we got painted on the ceiling here. My friends keep telling me that they're kind of tacky and I should take them down, but personally, I think you're never too old for those like glow-in-the-dark star sticker things, so. Looks like I forgot to clean up after last night. We got like Netflix, Hulu, Disney+, Plus, HBO Max, a couple things that I can't really tell you about, but like anything and everything you could ever want to watch on this TV is on this TV right here. All right, I'm gonna go change real quick. I'll check back with you upstairs. That's much better. Look at this jacket, though. Shit's fresh as fuck. Can't exactly tell you where I got it from, though. I mean, it's a it's a bit of an exclusive club, wouldn't you know? Over here we got the uh, here we got the kitchen. Looks like someone was cooking breakfast earlier here, though. So I might have to throw these in the fridge first, unless you want some. Yeah, I didn't really think so. I mean, as you can see, though, we do a lot of cooking around here. Not to brag or nothing, but I'm like a half-decent cook myself. We got like a state-of-the-art oven over here. Over there, we got like a state-of-the-art refrigerator. Any pot, pan, or any other piece of cooking equipment you could ever want is in any of these cabinets over here. We don't really talk about what's in that cabinet, though. That's, that's daddy's secret cabinet, you feel? Over here, we got like another like living room common area type of place. I don't really use this one for a whole lot either, but I mean, like, I don't know, you could, like, read a book here, I guess, if you really wanted to. This view sure is something, huh? You got, like, the pool right here, you got, like, the lake all the way out there, like, yeah, it looks, it looks a lot nicer in the daytime, but, like, views like these, they really make me feel like I accomplished something in life, you feel me? Alright, that's enough of that sappy shit, though, let's move on. All right, over here we got the, uh, the front of the house. I mean, you normally you'd come in this way, but I figured I'd show you the back of the house first because you know, let's be real, it's the better looking side of the house. But uh, yeah, that's it for VRC Cribs. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Appreciate you. I'll uh, catch you next time. Fail you again, my lord. Hey, uh, me here. Uh, if you liked what you just watched there, uh, maybe consider liking the video and uh, subscribing and all that shit. And uh, yeah, that's it. Back to the show. What's up, VRC Cribs? Welcome to the crib. You can see this is the uh, this is my villa up in. Um Wait, shit, I'm not allowed to say that on this show, am I? All right, well, you don't gotta worry about the location. It's it's just outside the city. Got about like 30,000 square feet to it, worth about 45 mil. Over here, we got the uh, this big ass pool out front. I think it's like the crown jewel that ties this entire place together, honestly. It's like really fancy looking. So it's, it's a huge hit whenever I host parties out here. Unfortunately, it's kind of a pain in the ass to clean, but like, I'm not the one that has to clean it, you feel me? All right, now out here we got uh, so this is the living area, or like at least one of them. You can tell I don't really use this space too often because there's this really nice table here that's supposed to like raise up, but I can't ever remember how to do it. 
I tend to call this place my Gucci room because all these couch cushions right here, they're all made of 100% authentic Gucci. And then over here, we got this uh, this painting that uh, my uncle actually painted this for me. And I, he gave it to me as a gift one year for, for Christmas. And I figured I would hang it up in here because I mean, this shit's, this shit's priceless to me. You know, you, you, can't, you can't go buy this in a store. Here we have the uh, the other living area. I'm personally more a fan of this one just because I mean it's outside and you know around it's usually uh, pretty nice out like year round. So fuck, I said it again, didn't I? Around here, I mean it's usually nice out like year round. So I mean there's never a bad time to just hang out here with the boys, have some conversations. Plus I mean if we go this way, like there's a there's a pool table here, so you know bonus points. All right, over here we got the kitchen. But the real star of the show, this part of the house, is right here. I mean, how many how many houses you know got a fully stocked, giant-ass bar in the kitchen? Well, I say fully stocked, but I mean, like, looks like all we got out here is just wine. I mean, I know we got some, like, harder stuff down in the basement, which, speaking of, follow me. Man, forget bars. How many places you know got their own goddamn elevator? I mean, personally, I prefer to take the stairs just because it's, you know, healthy to keep yourself moving and all that. But I mean, if I got to go from basement three over here all the way to the top floor, I'm certainly taking this guy. I'm not taking the stairs for that. I'll see you in the basement. We got a second pool, if the uh, if the first one wasn't enough for you. I mean, this one's kind of a little smaller though, so I only ever use it for like kickbacks and it's just like me and a couple of friends over or something. Not really much else to say about this one though, so you know, let's move on. Over here we got like a like another living area type of deal. This one's kind of got like an 80s theme going with like the, the neon lights and like the conversation pit design over here. Again, I don't really use this one for more than like kickbacks with the homies or something i mean that's kind of what the first floor basement really is is like chill out area with the boys type of deal i'm not really sure where the statue in the middle here came from though i think it just came with the house honestly if you ask me it's a little it's a little packy i might just get rid of it okay forget bars forget elevators how many houses do you know have their own personal nightclub in the bottom most basement floor Whenever we host parties around here, I mean, like, up top, that's where the party is. Out here, though, that's, this is where the real party is. I mean, like, I've seen, like, upwards of 150-plus people out here, like, on a good day. What the fuck, man? This is the fifth time I've caught you here in my house. This is gonna be my last time, because I'm calling the cops. Oh, fuck, fuck, shit. Okay. God, I hope this works. <laughs> Unfortunately, I must report that my attempts have failed thus far. I was caught by the homeowners before I could complete the ritual. Yes, I, I understand, my liege. I just, I just need a little more time. I promise I will conduct more thorough research into the location. I won't fail you again. Wait, 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 please, please, Lord Cribulus, just one, one more chance. I beg on my knees for your forgiveness. I won't fail you again, you have my word. Lord, Lord. Your Majesty, have mercy! you down here it's gonna be my last time telling you so i'm going to be calling the cops shit 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 god i hope this works all right that was a good that was a good one we're gonna run that back a couple times but i think that we should have had opposite houses <laughs> why okay he sounds like someone has a gun to his head telling him to say these things. <laughs> but it's kind of funny, so I'm rolling with it. Okay, whatever. Say the gun. Bar, what are you doing in my house? This is the last time I'm...
I'm going to say it. <laughs> I'm trying to think of something to moan, but I'm not going that well. <laughs>